Yeah, here we go. Thank you so much for joining into my video series on my DIY Expedition Camper once again. As you know, we're really staying with the battery system right now and still installing this whole big battery system. These are six 300 amp hour lithium batteries. So there's a lot of battery capacity here, 1800 amp hours, and they're series parallel for three pairs at, for a 24 volt system to bring that total amperage of the system down to a peak of 900 amps. I want to make sure that there's a fuse directly on each of these batteries coming off of them on before it gets onto the links, which also is in our battery fuse there as well and the links distribution system. So that way make sure I'm protected for that power flowing either way into the batteries or out of the batteries. So first of all, making up all these little series connectors, getting those all wired up and then testing out really the height of that to my floor finished floor height, which right now is just testing and finding out these MRBF fuse holders will be pretty close to the bottom of my floor, even though it's a non-conductive outdoor decking material, it's still a little bit too close for my comfort. So I want to go ahead and modify these marine rated battery fuse terminal blocks to make sure they fit on the floor without a touching or getting close to the bottom of that floor. So I modified those. I'm going to go in that video. And also part of the reason why I use these terminal fuse blocks is because they do have a very high interrupt current or fault current capability for these large lithium batteries and battery banks. And also they're, they're fairly compact and also they can handle very high amperages. So once I got these remote battery switches all placed in here for each one of the pairs and tested everything out, is that a matter of cutting down these fuse holders and hope that my cut down worked to be able to have them still operational. So let's get into it. All right, so I have really tight clearance here between this MRBF, a marine rated battery fuse, which is what this is right here. I want to put one on each one of these pairs of batteries come off. Right now I'm just on the negative just for, for demonstration's sake. And I already have a piece of plastic over this just for protection. Matter of fact, I can take that off. It'll give me a real clearance. And if I look at that clearance there, it looks fine except for when I put it up against this. This is about the height of my floor. So what I want to do to give myself a little more room for comfort between this stud and the, the floor is to, to trim it off. And so I'm a little worried I'm going to break it. You know, these aren't necessarily just a cheap and bolts are stainless bolts aren't easy to cut through and and so forth but anyways that's what i think i need to do i'm going to try cutting it down so i have just enough to basically get my my lug in there just for demonstration's sake here's a 90 degree lug just enough to get in that in there and the nut and the washer and so when i add those all up probably take off about a quarter of an inch maybe a little bit less and that'll give me a lot more comfort that'll give me some space there so i'm going to go put these in the vise one in the Device without the fuse on it and put my angle grinder to it and see if I can cut that through. The other option was I could put them, let me show you what else I have over here in my system, is I could just put them right on the end, uh, the input side of my magnetic latching remote battery switch and that's what this is right here. And these are not mounted in yet but the nice thing is they have a 3 8 inch stud, these MRBFs have a 3 8 inch stud and so they fit in really nicely. Inclined to do that, but then I, of course, wouldn't have my positives protected from here to the battery. And they will be protected from here to the links, and then, of course, from the links upward with its fuse. But I want to make sure I'm protected here for this short little connection, the positive going to the remote battery switch for each one of these pairs. So let's give this a try and see if I can cut through this with angle grinder and then get the nut back off and hope it all works. The stainless steel bolt on these MRBF fuse holders is extensively long, long enough to put several lugs on top of it. I only put one lug on each one, and so I can easily cut off about a quarter to a half an inch off each one, and still plenty of space to fit the fuse and the lug. Okay, a moment of truth. Let's see how this works. Bolt is still quite hot. Let's see if I can get her off. As you notice, I left the nut on all the way it's screwed down, so that way I can just use the nut to screw off the threads in case they're a little bit messed up. Ow. Still quite hot. <laughs> Should be wearing gloves. I'm trying to form this while I still have a little bit of heat, so it's somewhat soft. Here we go. She's off. So, success. I can do it at least once. Now I just have to do it twice again without messing one of these up. So I have to go replace it. Okay, that's great. That's good. Now let's go test it out the length, make sure that works. Ring rated battery fuse, 250 amp. 
All right, I want to put the fuse on in a direction I can see it, and it looks like it's going to work just fine. To fit a lug in there, cable lug, and get this on, drop my height, there we go. Yep, there, it's on, awesome. Let's see how the height's gonna be. Good, really good. You know, some extra clearance there, awesome. And so the height is about perfect. A little over an inch. All right, let's get the other one, let's go do this. And that's exactly what I did. I went ahead and cut the other two fuses down and put them right on the batteries themselves. You can see here, got some nice little protective caps that are a little bit more shallow, but added better protection and added those on. Of course, revised my floor a little bit to even give it a little more, call it height or clearance around these fuses and those connections. And they turned out really nicely. Everything looked out, looked great and works really well. Um, all the nuts did screw back on very easily onto those studs. So the wiring's all done. All the batteries are working. They're all very close and voltage almost exactly the same and they're all working and operating and so in future videos I'm going to go over more on the wiring and the insulation of this whole big electrical system of 1800 amp hours so thank you so much for watching subscribing and sharing with others and certainly look forward to sharing more with you on my future videos to come